Here's an example of solving a thin lens problem that involves two lenses placed in a row. So a three centimeter tall object is placed 35 centimeters in front of a lens with focal length f equals nine centimeters. 15 centimeters behind this lens is a second lens with a focal length f equals negative 12 centimeters. We wanna know how tall the final image is. Uh, so if we could calculate the total magnification for this two lens setup, then we could multiply our initial three centimeter height for our object times the total magnification, and that would tell us the, how tall the final image is. Uh, so first thing I wanna do is start with a diagram. And I know the first lens, because it's a positive focal length, is a converging lens. The second lens, because of the negative focal length, is a diverging lens. So here are my two lenses. I have an object 35 centimeters from lens number one, and I have the distance between my two lenses labeled on my diagram as well. Uh, now let's just think about our sign conventions for a moment. Here is our object. Light is going to be coming in this direction, moving to the right. So the left side of both lenses is going to be the virtual side. Any two lens problem, the virtual side will always be the same for both lenses. So the left side of lens number one is the side that light starts coming from at the very beginning of the problem. This is the virtual side of lens number one. And again, the left side of lens number two is also the virtual side for lens number two. Uh, likewise, to the right of lens number one will be the real side of lens number one and to the right of lens number two will be the real side of lens number two. So any two lens problem, the virtual side and the real side are always the same sides for both, uh, excuse me, the first and second lens, the virtual side is always on the same side for both of them and the real side is always on the same side for both of them. So in this problem, the left side is virtual, the right side is real. So I set up my lens equation for lens number one. Just stepping through this, worrying first about the first lens. I can solve this equation for Q1. I get that Q1 is a little over 12 centimeters, positive, meaning that this image is somewhere over here. This is where the image from the first lens will uh, show up. If I have Q1 and P1, I can calculate the magnification for this first lens. I get negative 0.35. And so my image from the first lens looks something like this. It's a little over 12 centimeters past lens number one. And it's about a third of the size as my object, my original object. And because the magnification is negative, this first image is inverted. My regular, my original object is upright. The image from this lens is inverted. So I've gone through the first lens. Now we want to just go through the same process for the second lens. So the first thing I need to figure out is my object distance. Here is my image from lens number one. This will be my object for lens number two. This is to the left of lens number two. So this should be a positive object distance. This image here is 12.12 centimeters past lens number one. The distance from lens number one to lens number two is 15 centimeters. So my object distance for lens number two, this distance from the center of lens number two to this image from lens number one is 2.88 centimeters. And it makes sense that this is positive because this is to the left, this is on the virtual side of lens number two. With my object distance, I can now solve the lens equation for lens number two. So I set up my lens equation, making sure I use that negative 12 centimeters as my focal length. I solve for Q2 and get negative 2.32 centimeters, indicating this negative, meaning that the final image is to the left on the virtual side of lens number two. Uh, so somewhere right around here. And if I calculate my magnification for lens number two uh, using Q2 over P2, I get 0 0.8. So my image from lens number two will be somewhere over here. It will be the same orientation as what I treated as my object for lens number two, and it will be a little bit smaller. 
So here we go. Something like this is my final image. This blue arrow is what acts as the object for lens number two. This red arrow is the image we get from lens number two. Here M2 is a positive number, meaning that the object for lens two and the image for lens two have the same orientation. I need to figure out the total magnification to figure out how tall the final image is. That is the magnification from lens 1 times the magnification from lens 2. Negative 0 0.35 times 0 0.81. My total magnification comes out as a negative number, which means my final image here in red is inverted compared to my original object. And my final image in red is a little smaller than one third the size of my original object. So how tall is my final image? It is my total magnification times the height of the original object, so negative 0.28 times 3 centimeters. My final image is 0.84 centimeters, and it is inverted. Final image in red, original object in black. So I solved the lens equation for the first lens, I found my object distance for lens number two, solved the lens equation for the second lens, and then multiplied the magnification from each lens together to get my total magnification, and that times my object height tells me the height of the final image.